True Sound Studios is in your ears. Hey guys, what is up? So this is gonna be a really quick video today. Um, so I got my Rode NT1A microphone here. Um, and I've been having some issues with it and it makes some noise. Uh, so you can see Rode NT1A. Uh, this is what the inside of the mic looks like. Got some capacitors. And this is the rest of the circuit board. Um, your connectors, um, three XLR, and then this is the capsule. And at first I thought, so I was having noise issues, a little crackling and pops, and I thought maybe I had to do something with the cable or the mic preamp, and I checked all that. So the first thing I thought maybe what the problem was, as you can see on the capsule, there's some like little dust and particles. So went through and checked all that, and that's still not the issue. Um, and I actually watched another video where somebody else had a very similar issue. Um, this is a continuity checker. So when you have a connection, it just lights up. Well, you are supposed to have, let me get this back on here. You're supposed to have a signal through the body and the screen here, which kind of acts as an electrostatic shield, I believe, and keeps the noise from getting into the mic. So as you can see here, um, if I move this screen around, I can get the light to go on and off. So that means we have obviously some sort of connection issue from this metal screen to the body, blocking out all the noise that gets inducted into our microphone. So I need to come up with a way to get a better signal from this screen to the body. So I'm gonna try now is, uh, I'm gonna drill a hole through the back side of this and see if we can either bolt or screw um, our screen back on here to get a good connection. Okay, well, didn't put the, I didn't put the hole exactly where I wanted it, but that's okay. Once again, it's not about the, not about the look, it's what it sounds like. So I'm going to see if I can find a screw or bolt that will uh, fit through there. So I found this little teeny tiny screw here that will fit in that hole, but before we get too much further, I want to make sure that it will even conduct continuity. You know, that it'll uh, conduct electricity. So we're just going to use our continuity checker. And as you can see, it does. So we can use this screw. So I've just got a, this screw started in here. And a little, little work. There we go. Just trying to get this back in focus. Okay, so as so you can see from the inside there, you can see that little teeny tiny screw popping through there. Fortunately, when we put our mic back together, it'll go in, it'll go in like this. So we will actually have space in there for that screw to just, to just miss. Um, our capsule. Okay, so here is the moment of truth. We got our screw on the back side, which is now hopefully connecting the body and the screen together. So, uh, as you can see, got our continuity. So, we'll clip it on here, and then we will clip it on here. Oops, let's try to find a better spot. Okay, so as you can see, I can move the screen now 
quite a bit and we have not lost continuity. So, oops, clip fell off there. Um, so for something as simple as just putting a, a screw that will conduct electricity through the body and through the windscreen will resolve your uh, noise issues with your Rode NT1A microphone. All right, guys, feel free to ask any questions. Um, otherwise, good luck fixing your mic. So real quick, how I took this apart uh, to get at the inside of this microphone is very simply, there's two screws on either side of the body here. Um, as you can see, I already kind of loosened them up, but um, obviously just take these screws out with a screwdriver. They're already loose enough. I can pull them out right now. Uh, just take those two screws out. There was one there. There's one on the direct other side. And even though it feels like it's not going to come apart, uh, just kind of pull it. Take some good, uh, <laughs> good amount of effort in there because there's this like silicone ring that, you know, really uh, shock mounts itself, but with some some good amount of tension, um, and that's how it kind of snugly fits on the inside of here. So, and then uh, just pull it apart and, and that's it. And that's how you get inside of this microphone. And then when you are ready to put this back together, this is the back side of the capsule. And this is the front side where the gold is. And the gold goes with the little dot that is on the front of the microphone. So it'll go in like this. Gold dot, gold capsule. And like this, push it in nice and tight. And there you go, there's your there's your one screw hole and the other, and just screw those back together. And you got yourself uh, your reassembled microphone. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to stay up to date with True Sound Studios, follow us on our Instagram page. We post on Instagram every day and we'll keep you up to date with pictures, videos, beats, tutorials, behind the scenes, and tips and tricks on all things recording. So once again, thank you for watching. I'm Ryan Wiesna. We're here in my studio, True Sound Studios, and True Sound Studios is in your ears.